Hey everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls, where we are tackling the Valley of Defilement for the third time. Here's what happened. Um, I started recording after the Latria episode, and it was an absolute mess. People were like fucking um, like mowing the lawn outside, it was really noisy, hot as fuck in my room. It was just just a mess. I was flustered, and what ended up happening is I ended up struggling. I also completely ran out of healing items. Um, so I decided to take a pause, take a break, and return to this area. I did use up a lot of my souls for heals, because that's just how it is. I mean, I was running out, and... We're getting to the point of the game where it's gonna start not to matter, really. Not your souls, but healing items, because after a while they become really easy to get. So that issue will kind of like fix itself in a little bit. But before that happens, I wanted to boost myself up a little bit. So that's where we are currently, and I'm gonna try the Valley of Defilement. This shit is in full black world tendency, which means that the enemies deal more damage and the whole area is harder. Which is unfortunate because I was already finding this place to be pretty difficult. So yeah, it's just how it is. By the way, if you see... Hold on, just a second. I'll explain everything. If you see that, um, what's happening currently, that's a suitcase is that I'm also going on vacation today. And I didn't really have time to record throughout the week because I was trying to get my shit in order at work so that I can, you know, like, leave with a clean slate. And because of that, I didn't really have time to pre-record. So what's going to be happening here is... There are gonna be less videos in the next couple of days. Uh, that's just... It's just a fact, currently. God, there's so many of them. I'm trying not to get all of them to, like, fall off. The more of them fall off down there, the more I'm gonna have to deal with. There's a black phantom right there. So what happens if you don't know Demon Souls? Black phantom enemies spawn when the world tendency goes black. And again, the whole area becomes more difficult. Uh, but you also get these enemies which are more challenging and have more HP and deal more damage and all the wonderful things that you would, you'd expect. Um, but yeah, the fact that I'm like stocked up on heals is the most important. Come on, kill it. Thank you. They do drop really good stuff though. That's the, you know, that's the opposite end of it. They do drop good shit. Camera, if you would just cooperate a little bit more, I would really appreciate. Thank you. Okay, this is as far as I made it. As you can see. I don't even remember what the hell killed me. But it was not pleasant. Right, that's where these like little worm things are. These are bitches too, because they poison you. They don't even poison you, they toxin you. Or I, I think it's called plague in this game. But it's even worse. As mentioned, the tastiest feature of being poisoned in this game is the fact that your healing effectiveness is reduced by half. 
Oh, there's the... Oh, shit. She doesn't look as crazy as she did before. Filthy woman. Man, your shit is very expensive. They... Oh, she sells the Vorpik. That's a new item as well, right? There wasn't... Um... I don't remember this dialogue. Yeah, well, it's kind of your fault. Oh, this area, no. The fucking rats. No. Ah, oh, I hate this area. I completely forgot. Well, we need to go back because she sells shit that cures the plague. Please tell me I have it. Yeah, I do. Use it. Come on. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna say... If you're from Eastern Europe, you know this type of beggar. They're all over the place. They exist IRL. That backstab bitch. I usually their shit is mad expensive too. Okay, well, I kind of didn't want to push him off because I'm not gonna get his items. But we'll live. Okay. Oh, this is the first one. Come back here. And be prepared for probably the least like the enemy in the entirety of Demon Souls. The only saving grace here is that there is no saving grace. The only saving grace is that at least I have a decent weapon. I mean, and the fact that you're not in the slowing swamp. Um, don't worry, we'll get to that as well. We'll get to that as well. Whoa, okay. Just chill. I mean, the thing that I'm happy about is that I'm finally making it through this area, because this is a motherfucker. You guys remember from the start. And I swear this shit has gotten harder. I mean, like, listen, I'm not mincing words. I'm like 90% sure it has. You know, that's the kind of the thing with Demon's Souls. I've mentioned this before. That this game... In this game, the areas are the challenge. Like... The bosses themselves... Holy shit, you're quick. The bosses themselves are a thing. Most of the time, they're just a thing. But it's the areas where the real challenge comes from which is okay you know a better oh nice what they can drop a morning star interesting that's just the type of shit that you don't know about ah send it it's full moon grass that's okay what we really need here is black pine resin. I'm really curious on how this boss will look. Yeah. Gross, but 
this is kind of a weird looking boss. Like a weird design, okay. Try not to walk off the cliff. Well, you can drop down. What am I doing? And... Let's make this a quick one. I.E. If you have... Um, a fire weapon. This boss is <laughs> very, very easy. As I said, the challenge with this guy, well, I mean, with this place is the area itself. I mean, like, obviously that is a... Whoa. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell is that light? Yeah, the challenge with this guy, I mean with this place, is the area, not not the boss, as you could very much tell. And this trend carries over to the next section of this place too. Yeah, that's uh, the Swamp of Sorrow. Probably the most fitting name you could think of, because you are going to be crying. You, you will be, like, there is just no, no other way around it. You realize too that uh, one of the unfortunate things is, well not unfortunate, but we need to get to 12 faith because of Demon Brand. Which is okay now. The only unfortunate thing is because I was spending um, souls on faith, I wasn't really getting any HP or anything like that. Still, all of that is okay. What is... Oh damn, that looks fancy as hell. It's like an Ink Visitors set from like... Why do I have such high item burden? Probably because of all this, like, okay, we can we can come back here anytime and change our stuff. It's really strange because... Whoops, no. I'll keep the Adjudicator shield around. That's really strange because I, I don't see myself having a lot of stuff. Unless we go here. Probably these things are heavy too. And also what I'm wearing. I think that kind of contributes somehow. Hmm. The only question here is which area do we tackle next? Which second area do we go to? The fifth arched stone. Yeah, if we could. Let's go here. Let's go here. I don't know why. But at least the boss is easy. Oh. What should I get? Hmm. I don't really have any good rings. Let's go Herculean Strength. Why not? Yeah, don't ask me why I'm going through this area. I just kind of felt like doing it. I don't think we will have enough time to do this whole place. I mean, I'm 15 minutes in. And due to the time constraints... Oh shit, they look good now. These guys were always kind of goofy in the original game. As were the ghosts they summoned. They look way better now. They looked way too like... Uh, cartoon Grim Reaper-ish. That was always my problem. But man, do I have a solution to this. Eat shit, bitches. Moonshade stone. Which one is that? <laughs> nice. I like the animation.
They like them cutscenes in this game. And I think I have a solid idea of what we're going to be doing here. The only thing I got to figure out is how to get there. It's not through here, actually. You guys know what I'm trying to do. If you've played this game, you know what I'm trying. There it is. There it is, the boy. The first version of the boy. Holy shit! <laughs> Look at him. I like I like this version. That is the most high def patches there has ever been. It's a nice gentleman, right? Seems like a nice, friendly chap, as the British say. And that is an absolutely non-threatening cave. This bald motherfucker. Never trust bald people. It's a lesson here. Oh, look at him. Holy shit. Saint Urbane. Heavens. Did you fall for that little devil's trap? Well, I did the same. Quite a ball cut. He fooled me. And now I'm stuck here. Nice clothes, though. The reverberation seemed to suggest that we are connected to the outside. A fearsome dark phantom stands between us and freedom. But have no fear. God will cleanse us of evil. Umbasa. That's the first Umbasa of the game. No, no, we've had Umbasas before. Because the other chick says Umbasa as well. Don't worry, Urbane. Just got done playing Sekiro, so this guy will be a cakewalk. Gonna deflect his bitch ass attacks. Told you. I really like the way the phantoms dissipate in this game. Super cool looking. Alright, you're saved. You're welcome. This guy looks creepy as hell. It's the haircut, man. It just doesn't work. There are some haircuts that just don't work. Umbasa, nice. <laughs> I always wanted an Umbasa trophy. And now I have it. My life... I've self-actualized due to this. Alright, patches, you bitch. What do you got to say? I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. God, he looks so creepy. A man's got to make a living, right? Here, look. I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Have this as a token of my... You are lucky, Patches. <laughs> Come on. No need to drag each other. You are lucky. He's lucky because he is by far the best merchant in the game in terms of healing items. He sells the most varied healing items for the best price. So, unfortunately in this game, Patches has to live. Has And I say has to, like really has to, because you, you'd be an idiot to kill Patches in this version of the game. Uh, he's unfortunately that useful. Even though sometimes I just desire to, oh. I no no why? 
Ah, uh, game. Don't roll that way. I'm not dealing a lot of damage to these enemies, am I? I think... Just looking at this situation... I think we have to... Go to... Stonefang 2 before. We have to go to Stonefang 2 and get more upgrade materials. See, but I'm dealing damage to these things. By the way, one of the best farming spots in this game, easily, I think. Easily one of the best farming spots. It's just... 3k souls in an instant. Okay, let me just try this again. So, either of these guys have a lot of HP. No, I'm not dealing a lot of damage to them. Hmm, counter-attacking is better. We're gonna have to, like... Handle this somehow... Yeah. Please roly-poly off. I'm not gonna... God, this area is a clusterfuck. Sometimes. We need to. We need to go to Stonefang. Um, I need to be de dealing way more damage to these enemies. Which is okay. I mean... It's just a thing. I think that's a perfect like foil here to wrap up this episode. Um, despite the sort of anticlimactic end, I feel like we got shit done here today. If nothing else. Whoa. Okay. If nothing else, uh, we cleared out the most dreaded area, which was 5-1. Until we get to the second most dreaded area, 5-2. So yeah, as I explained here, I am going to be on vacation starting today, actually. So I'm coming back Thursday. Until then, I, I do have an episode of Sekiro recorded as well. That's going to be uploaded. But the uploads are going to be less frequent, so don't be surprised. I haven't died. It's just I'm living life. Follow me on Mr. Underscore Sketchhead if you want to keep up to me. Keep up with me, I should say. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Demon Souls. This is still a short one, although, you know, this is kind of a weird in-between kind of thing. In that 5-1 was very short, and then, like, what do you do after... Thanks for watching everyone, take care and peace out, goodbye.